boosters are progression-based rewards that increase the player's abilities in unique ways. Sometimes they are straight up enhancements, other times you'll need to meet certain conditions in order for the benefits to activate. And sometimes these benefits will have negative consequences. In this video, I'll explain how boosters, artifacts, and the heat system works, as well as a bit of technical knowledge about them. To get boosters, players need to collect in-game items called artifacts, small little crystallized things that are spread around every level in the game. There are three classes of boosters and artifacts, muted, bold, and aggressive. The player can equip one of each class of booster before starting an expedition. Muted only come in single-use charges, have generally one benefit and the occasional condition. It never has a negative. Bold can come in either one or two use charges and have better percentages and usually more benefits. They still occasionally have a condition and some can have a negative side effect. Aggressives follow the trend and come in either two or three use charges and offer the greatest benefits. It can offer up to three unique benefits, however, it always comes with either a condition or some negative side effect. To get a random booster, you must reach 1.0 progression for the corresponding class by collecting artifacts, each of which will give between 0.03 and 0.15 progress depending on your artifact heat. The progress each artifact gives is calculated by the artifact heat times 0.15. At 100% heat, you will get the maximum value from each artifact you collect. This means you only need to find 7 artifacts before being rewarded with a random booster. However, artifact heat can drop to as low as 20%, meaning you'd have to collect 5 times as many artifacts to get the same progress as collecting on 100% heat. The method in which artifact heat is calculated is actually really straightforward. Artifact heat decreases by the total amount of artifacts collected times 1.5 for the expedition you are on. Conversely, however, every other expedition will increase by half the total amount of artifacts collected. So, if you play A1 at 100% heat and collect 20 artifacts, the heat will drop down by 30%, making it 70, whilst every other expedition will recover 10% heat. It doesn't matter the class of artifact you collect, the game considers them all equal, even though muted and bolds are more common than aggressives. This essentially means that for every one artifact you find on an expedition, you need to find three or four artifacts on other expeditions to recover that heat. The reason I say three to four is because the game rounds the heat value to the nearest integer, and sometimes it rounds down or up. Like resources and consumables, there's a static amount of artifacts. Every expedition and every zone will have the same amount of artifacts every time you play it. Keep that in mind for the next video in which I'll show you how to farm boosters. Also, artifacts emit a low ambient sound, and you can always check how many you've collected as well as your current progression in the objective screen. The other thing you need to know about artifacts and boosters is the 30 second period at the start of the game. The game has a small failsafe system where within the first 30 seconds of the game, nothing counts. So if you accidentally bring a booster that you didn't want, or your game crashes on the loading screen, you won't lose your equipped boosters. You can tell when 30 seconds has elapsed because in the bottom right hand corner, a small red text will flash saying server sync. And that's all you really need to know about how boosters, artifacts, and heat work. Next video, I'll show you how to quickly farm boosters and then later ranking all the boosters in a tier list. So make sure you like the video, subscribe for more, and consider supporting me on Patreon. And leave a comment below telling me your thoughts on the booster system. Do you love it, or do you hate it? But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.